This is Serrata Speeda. While I don't know much about Serrata Speeda, I do know that it is a large herbivore made for boxing apexes. All right, hello everybody. I'm really excited for the animations for this guy, so let's get right into it. This is our default male subspecies. It looks pretty decent. I wonder what this is around the mouth here though. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's part of the lower jaw. I thought they might be extra horns, but you also got these spines on the back. We got a furry tail and some pretty wide, pretty standard deer antlers here. And then we got the things that we're most excited about, these punching gloves over here for hands and these hooves in the back feet. All right, our next one has curved horns. From what I can tell, it looks mostly the same other than the antlers being bigger. Next we have doe, Ooh, much smaller head and antlers. The rest of the body still seems same size. I don't see any difference in the tail, or the spikes on the back, or the chest. First up we have broadcast. pretty good. We have a shake there at the end. You have the nostrils flaring. I think the sound is pretty decent and fitting for the creature. Two call. Oh, I like the little steppings and the kind of like hiccuping noise that it has for it. Threaten. Okay, it's pretty standard. We're throwing off or er, we're showing off the antlers kind of in a shaking motion like most herbivores do. Four call. I like that. It's a bit more alarmed. Talk. Very low, very quiet noise. Shake. <laughs> I like that it's just all shoulders right there <laughs> and a little bit of the horns. Look around. Oof. Oh man, I wish I could zoom out more. I love how it stands on the back hind legs. It looks really good. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, and here is our baby model. The baby model is kind of wild looking. It looks like a naked Therizinosaurus to me. I don't particularly love the skin for the baby. I still think the hair on the tail and the neck is really good, but its face looks a little weird to me. And basically the side where the skins are, I don't really love it. Let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcasts. I like the broadcast. It's very good. And you still see the nostrils flaring there. Two call. <laughs> little step dance. Threaten. My guy has no horns. <laughs> That's gonna make the growth interesting to see how they like grow out. Four call. It didn't go all the way down like the adult model does. The hands kind of stay up. I don't know if that's just a IK issue or what that it's all about. Talk. Very good. I like the talk noise. Shake. This guy is ready to box with the shoulder shake. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Look around. Elegant as always. Very nice. All right, let's go through some of the animations right quick. First up, we have walk. Okay, you lean forward pretty good. That's nice. I love the tail swish. He's always been really good at tail physics. So, love that. Otherwise, I don't see much of an issue with it. So, very good. Run. Just the faster walk, really. You hold your mouth open. Tail swishes a little faster. Nice. See if we can jump. We can. A very short jump. I doubt the adult will be able to do that. But, very nice. All right, here is the adult model. The adult model honestly looks so much better than the baby model. I just like it a lot. I like the little jaw tusks for the lower jaw, the antlers here. You got the spikes on the back and the tail, and then our punching gloves. It just looks really good this way. But let's go through the animations right quick. Here's our walk. He sounds really heavy. But the animation itself is really good. A nice, slow, steady walk. Kind of intimidating, yeah. <laughs> Run. Not much faster at all. Probably won't even be using run that much because of barely any faster. 
turn is pretty wide as well. Let's see if we have our jump. No jump. Let's try our sit. Ooh, he uses his punching gloves to slide down. Very nice. It's a good animation, very fitting for the creature. Sleep. Tucks the tail and the leg in and puts the head down. Doesn't seem to have any extra idle animations for it either. Let's get up. There we go. It's actually pretty quick, so that's good. I'm glad that we don't have to wait forever for this to kind of work out. All right, now we're going to do our precise movement. Here's our turn in place. Oh, that's massively slow. And the turning animation for the feet are a little bit slidey. See to our left. That's a little faster. To the right. Backing up. Also okay. Not the best. Turning in place is very, very slow though. Egregiously slow. All right, here's our eating animation. We put our fist on the ground to hold us balanced while we eat. Ooh, I like that. He pops up on his hind legs and kind of does a quick look around while he's eating. It's very nice. Here's our disturb burrow animation. We just kind of dig with our mitts here. Pretty nice. Looks good. Nice and stable. All right, and here's our drinking animation. Again, with the mitts on the ground, and we kind of stick our head way down there. But it seems to be just a regular drinking animation. Just quick sips. And here's our swimming animation. Oh, it's painfully slow. Painfully, painfully slow. The animation under the water looks cool, though. I love the way they made the punching gloves for this guy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look at these skins right quick. First we have, this is the male default skin. Then we have Sable, Cryptid, Okapi, Moose, Bullseye, Magma, Gilded, Melanistic, and Albino. Okay, for me, I like like half of these. Like I really like the Cryptid over here. Oops, not that one. Cryptid. And I also like the Okapi and the Magma and the Melanistic and the Albino. I think the only one I don't really like probably this gilded one. The rest of them are really good though. All right, let's go through the abilities right quick. We have our extra senses slot. This totem is balanced. Then we have shaman, 25% increase to health recovery. Chief, you earned the right to be called chief of your herd and with this responsibility become more powerful before a fight. 10% attack damage and 5% increase to stamina regeneration when out of combat. And then warrior with the power of the ancient ancestors. You gain strength but take more damage. 5% incre increase to attack damage. Head, we have two slots. We have headbutt. Serata speed are known to use their horns as a weapon when fighting predators. They can throw predators around with their horns, median damage, and knockback. Then reinforced antlers. Older Serata speed have stronger horns that help them protect their necks from predators. Reduce all damage taken on the head and neck by 30%. So pretty much like T-Rex's uh head slot buff where they take less damage when you if you try to face tank them and then our regular senses we have lone survivor 10 percent armor increase and increased maneuverability when not in a group adrenaline this ability increases the sprinting speed and decreases sprinting stamina drain by 20 percent and increases stamina regen by 50 percent decrease incoming damage by 90 percent but no longer deal damage when you hit 25 percent health so it's just like running away because you can't do damage but you won't take any more damage. Your sprinting speed is increased and your sprinting stamina is decreased. So I feel like that's more for a running away situation. Herd leaders, Serata Speeda, are often known to be leaders of a group of herbivores when they go on migrations. Increase attack damage by 2.5 for every herbivore in your group. Stacks up to five. Large herbivores don't activate the buff. Okay, so they want you to kind of group up with smaller herbivores, not other apexes. Front limb, we have two slots, punch, Serata Speeda does a series of small hits with their front hooves that can make, that can easily make any predator regret their actions. Medium damage, and each hit applies dazed. Reaching five stack of dazed, you get the concussion effect, which increases the turn movement speed by 100% and reduced attack damage and movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. So that's why it's so bad. Our precise movement is so bad so that you could use punch and get faster turn radius. <laughs> But that's pretty wild. Tremor Smash, Serata Speeda are known to do a series of punches to the ground to disorient opponents. High damage, it says 12 damage for every hit to the ground, AOE, can only be used when standing still. 
12 damage isn't high damage, but I guess it depends on the number of punches you land. Haymaker. Serata Speeder are known to launch forward at predators to deliver a massive punch to opponents and knock them out. An instant concussion effect, but high cooldown. So probably 30 seconds to a minute cooldown for that. Bludgeon Barrage. A quick attack that stacks with each hit can punch up to 5 low damage, 22 damage per punch. So pretty much like Suko's Claw Barrage. Then Metabolism, we only have one slot. Herbivore, able to eat berries and fruit, moderate food drain. And then Forager, able to eat flowers, nuts, fruits, and fruit, faster food drain. For our hide, we have three options here. We have Dense Fur, increase armor by 15%. Herb protectors, Serratus B to give up an aura of safety when it's around the herbivores feel they can relax and save energy, increases movement speed and decreases incoming damage by 20%, but also lowers attack damage by 30%. Only works in groups and only affects smaller herbivores. So are we saying that it increases the movement speed and increases the damage and decreases the damage for smaller herbivores only in your group which means they would have to be doing more of the work and you just be like a distraction resilient fur increased bleed and venom healing by 30 percent that's pretty standard legs we have long distance runner reduces running stamina drain by 15 percent strong legs take 40 percent less knockback and 15 percent increase bone break healing and then traction increases turning speed by 10% and decreases stamina recovery by 30%. Uh, we have an ability that gives us a whole lot of more turning speed, but just general turning speed would be good as well. But our stamina is also kind of mid. It's a lot to think about. Back limb, back kick. Serata can deliver a powerful back kick that can easily knock out predators. High damage, 90 damage, does knockback and adds the dazed stack, can only be used when crouched. Oh, okay. That makes sense though for the animation. I don't think that you'd be able to back kick the way you want to on two legs. Our tail, we have balanced, gain 5% increased turning, and then tail slap. Serata Speed will use its tail to attack predators that chase after it. Low damage and knockback. Even though I want turn speed, I'll probably use this tail slap. 30 damage is pretty decent. Voice calls, we have rage when enraged. Serata Speed are known to pound their fists together to help them prepare for a fight. 20% increase the attack damage, 20% decrease to incoming damage, and 0.5% and 0.5 seconds off of all cooldowns for 10 seconds. Nice, nice. Taunt. Serata Speed are known to taunt predators to make them more aggressive, but lowers its defense. Increase the attack damage and incoming damage by 20% to the nearest play. Play predator, maybe? Only works on people out of group. These are really interesting. It's going to be a fun kind of brawler. All right, let's go through our ability animations right quick. First up, we have Headbutt. Oh, that's huge. That has way more range than I thought it was. It has a pretty low cooldown. So it should hit people from above and below, tall and short. Next, we have Punch. Oh, it's like a front kick type punch. I don't know why I was expecting him to go swinging. <laughs> One more time, Punch pretty good. Next we have Tremor Smash. That's 10 punches to the ground there. And that does AOE damage and I think it's 12 damage per hit. So if you get hit with the whole thing that is a lot of damage. Most people since it also does knockback is probably gonna get away before they get the full effect of this damage. It actually does not do knockback, so this should be pretty good for people who aren't good at turning around or escaping your attacks. Next we have Haymaker. It's a big forward punch. That's kind of the swing that I was expecting the regular punch to be like, but that one does a lot of high damage. It's supposed to have a really long cooldown. Next we have Bludgeon Barrage. Yeah, it's kind of like Lamb's front kick. And is pretty quick, so that stacks up to five times. So that's pretty good, I think. I would probably use that. After that, we have back kick. First, you want to crouch. So you got your front paws on the ground. And we're going to look back here and kick. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't go as high as I thought it would, but it's still a pretty decent animation. And that's going to apply the dazed effect to your opponent. Now we're back to standing and we're going to do our tail slap. It's a pretty wide range tail slap. One more time, tail slap. But I really do like the amount of range you get with some of these attacks. Next, we have our vocal abilities. First one is Rage. Oh, I love the animations. The added effects that they put in Path of Titans for when you're doing an ability call is perfect. And it works really well with this guy. But 
that move is going to give you 20% more damage, decrease the damage you take by 20%, and add half a second to all cooldowns for 10 seconds. And last but not least, we have Taunt. <laughs> He's just laughing at him. But this is going to increase your enemy's attack damage, but also increase the damage they take. So if it's a low attack enemy that you're facing that's going to be really good because they might do a little bit more damage to you but you're, they're also going to take more damage from you if they don't do a lot of damage to begin with you might want to risk giving them some attack damage but it's a very interesting kind of give and take ability there but yeah that's about it for serata speed here my opinion on it is that it's going to be a lot of fun knocking out dinosaurs <laughs> left and right i wish we had a animation like a knockout animation to give them because it's just going to be so cool it would be the complete essence of what serata speed is if we had that animation for other creatures while i don't love the baby model the adult model is fantastic looking very muscular very natural definitely looks like a creature that could exist exist on its own. The two biggest issues that you have to look out for with Serata Speeda is its very slow swim speed. Probably don't want to be messing with Danos and other aquatics or semi-aquatics that too much. You will want to fight on cliffs because of all the knockback that you do and knockback resistance that you can have. And your turn rate is very bad for an apex. So you really want to use that punch ability since it'll buff it by about 100%, which is insane, but definitely needed for Serata Speeda to accurately fight. Regardless, the sounds are really fitting for Serata Speeda and it has some decent skins and very decent abilities that will definitely help you be the knockout king that you're meant to be. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I make a lot of videos covering other mods and games that you might not have heard of. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.